Today is the last day of Navaratri. So those who are watching this video, may God bless you with all the eternity. Today is the last and the final day of Navaratri where we worship Goddess Siddhi Dhatri. Siddhi Dhatri comprises of two words where Siddhi means supernatural power and Dhatri means one who give it. So Goddess Siddhi Dhatri is the giver of all the supernatural power. There's a story behind Goddess Siddhi Dhatri. So at the beginning of this universe, nothing existed but darkness. So Goddess Kusmanda created whole of this universe with her radiant smile. And then she created Brahma, Vishnu, Maheswar, Hindu Trinity to operate and look after her universe. Later on, Lord Shiva came to Goddess Kusmanda and asked for more perfection, more power and more Siddhis. So Goddess Kusmanda created Goddess Siddhidhatri. And Goddess Siddhidhatri blessed Shiva with all the Siddhis, supernatural powers. First, she blessed Lord Shiva with eight basic Siddhis, which is known as uh, Asta Siddhis. And then Lord Shiva was blessed with ten more Siddhis, ten more supernatural power. So Lord Shiva got blessed with eighteen Siddhis, eighteen supernatural powers. Then something amazing happened. Half part of Lord Shiva, half part of body of Lord Shiva got immersed into Lord Goddess Siddhidatri. Then he became the master of all those cities. So all the blessings of this modern times, which are in the form of inventions and technology, all are the blessings of Goddess Siddhidatri. Because the things which seem to be supernatural uh, ages back are now very normal to us. Because we can fly in the air with the help of aeroplane. We can walk in the water with the help of sea. We can be present at multiple places at the same time and that is possible through social media or the means of communication now let's talk about eight supernatural powers which is known as astasiddhis not in the terms of supernatural uh, way but in the terms of day-to-day -day life how can we achieve them uh, in our human life existing on the human level so the first siddhi is the siddhi of anima anima means to transfer yourselves to as small as atom. So how can we develop that uh, quality into day-to-day -day life? We have to develop so much of love, so much of compassion that we become so subtle and small that we penetrate into the heart of everybody. Now the next Siddhi is the Siddhi of Mahima. Mahima is the power to transform yourself into so great as infinity, so big as infinity. So how can you develop it at the day-to-day -day life? We can become great and we can become great by learning our knowledge. And the more we learn, the more we grow and more we be, uh, more big we become. The next Siddhi is the Siddhi of Garima. Garima is the Siddhi to become so heavy, as heavy as infinity. So how can we develop uh, that power, you know? Uh, the more we learn, the more heavy we'll become with the knowledge. And the more heavy we become, what happens to the heavier objects is that uh, the gravity of the earth pulls that object towards it. So the more heavy we become by acquiring the knowledge, more humble we become because we stay gravitated on the grounds of the earth and we don't get, uh, we don't fly on the air with our ego. The next uh, Siddhi is called Lagima. Lagima is the Siddhi to transform yourself into as light as infinity. So how can we develop it into day-to-day -day life? So when we give up our ego, we become so light because we give the unnecessary load of ego that is uh, making us happy. Next Siddhi is of Prapti and Prakamya. They are both uh, different Siddhis, Prapti and Prakamya, but they are kind of similar because this, this Siddhi is the supernatural power to achieve anything whatsoever just by desiring it. But sadly in human life that kind of thing doesn't exist. We have to work hard for it, we have to have determination, we have to have endurance to get anything that we want. We need to set clear goals, we need to have plans, we need to have um, anything whatsoever that is required to achieve that goal. 
And the next Siddhi is the Siddhi of Iswatta. Iswatva is the uh, Siddhi or supernatural power uh, of Lord Siv, of getting connection to that divine power. So how is that possible uh, in our human life? There's the energy within us which is known as Kundalini energy. And when that Kundalini energy gets awakened within us, it connects us with that all-pervading, all-divine power. And that is possible through Sahaj Yoga meditation which gets you the connection to the divine. If you want to learn Sahaj Yoga meditation, then I will put down the link in the description below. Now the next uh, and last Siddhi is the Siddhi of Pasitpa. Pasitpa is the Siddhi to control everything, basically five elements. But in this modern times, we are already been controlling the five elements. We are controlling water by making dams. We are controlling fire in our simple kitchens, like we have the regulator, which uh, has capacity to uh, lower and higher the flames. Uh, we are already controlling the um, earth because we are making slopes in the plain area and we are making uh, uh, mountains in the plain area and we are cutting down the mountains. We are already controlling the uh, earth element. We are controlling every element uh, in different ways. That was all about us the Siddhis and Goddess Siddhidatri. Thank you for watching till the end and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Happy Navratri and may Goddess bless you with all the happiness.